If you're a light worker or a star seed and you find that you're working a nine to five traditional 3D type job and you can't stand it, but you don't feel like you have the means or the confidence or even the know-how how to transition out of that into something that's more fulfilling to your purpose, you are not alone. I was in that position for many, many years. I worked in a profession that was great in terms of stability and financially provided me what I needed to raise my family, but it wasn't fulfilling to me. And I spent many years in this career as an accountant until one day I realized it was time for me to leave. I knew that it no longer served me. So you may be in a job that is just a grind. It doesn't resonate. Your light is just too bright. You're a light worker, you're a star seed, and it's just killing you to have to get up day in, day out, and go to this job, right? It feels very constricted. It makes you feel very small. Well, there's a very good reason for this and an amazing opportunity for you to be able to heal further and step into your purpose more fully. And not just that, have the support of the universe in terms of resources and confidence to help you make that shift. We as light workers are often drawn into the darkness. We're drawn into the 3D reality. That space needs our light. We are healers. We are here to heal. And when we get placed in situations or we make subconscious choices to go into situations based on limiting beliefs. So if you're in a nine to five job or a career, maybe you've been taught, you've gone to school, you've been educated and you taught that that, that, that was the path. That was just the path that you went down. You didn't give it a second thought. You just did it almost unconsciously, right? Well, if you find you're in that situation, you're starting to wake up and you feel that that no longer resonates, that's because your light is starting to shine through. Okay, you've been, you're this high frequency, amazing multidimensional being. You've lived lives on many planets. You've gone through the ascension process. You hold a lot of light. In fact, you're probably a very old soul like I am. Okay, so we're in these situations and in these situations that don't resonate with us, it could be a 3D type of position. We encounter people in these positions that really play a role and support us in our growth. It gives us the ability to really get in touch with our heart, to get in touch with our light and open up and start to remember who we are. So often I work with clients that want to jump out of a career or a job and go right back into another one and the same type of energy goes with them. They encounter the same type of scenario in the new position. So it's important to realize that you're being called by your higher self into these positions to be able to step into your power. A lot of times what's happening is the lower chakras, the root, the sacral, the solar plexus have blockages and it makes you feel small. It makes you feel insecure and it makes you feel disempowered, right? So we want to stay small. small. We want to stay safe. And we're in these positions that really keep us small. But those positions, those jobs are opportunities for you to expand, for you to step into your light, to you to balance your chakras, to open up, reconnect with the truth of who you are, and allow that energy to flow up into your heart. And here's another thing that happens in these positions with these people that you're working with and you're serving in these positions, some corporation or some higher up, and it's very monetary or money focused. It's 3D. It doesn't resonate. But these people or characters in your reality are also looking to have awakening experiences. Maybe subconsciously they bring you in, they hire you because there's something in you that they long to connect with within them. That's their light. So you play a very important role in these situations that allow you to help others have awakening experiences. And we do that by planting seeds. So you go to your position, you go to your job, anchored and aligned every day. And you be authentic and you be who you are. When you start to live from the heart, and the energy stops being blocked in the lower chakras, 
you start to gain clarity. You're going to start to feel aligned. You're going to start to feel confident and you're going to start to be empowered. And you could get there by doing breathwork exercises through meditation, grounding, whatever works for you to allow yourself to connect with the truth of who you are that will shift your perspective. It will raise your vibration. You will start to operate from a higher frequency and you will shine your light even brighter in these situations that no longer really resonate with you. When you start to do that, you start to gain clarity of purpose. You start to align with your higher self and the means to navigate away from that lower 3D job or position start to become visible to you. You start to be able to perceive opportunities that are in more in alignment with your path as a light worker, as a healer, to get out there and help others. You know deep down that's what you're here to do. You've done it many, many lifetimes before, but you're just scared because, again, that energy is stuck in your lower three chakras. So you work to heal that within the situation you're in and you start to connect with an empowered, confident aspect of you, more aligned with your higher self. And those opportunities start to open up to you. You get the confidence to start to step out into a new role. You get the confidence maybe to start a side business. Maybe it's tarot reading. Maybe it's utilizing your psychic gifts, becoming a medium. Maybe it's an energy healer and you start to walk that path. At some point, you're going to realize not only do you not resonate with your old nine to five job, but it's no longer really serving you. It did its purpose. It served its purpose. It allowed you the opportunity to connect in with your inner power and your inner strength. It guided you inward. It guided you away from your programming that tells you you need this job because you're you're, you need to feel safe. And it allowed you to get inside and connect with something far greater, your higher self. And as soon as you connect to that energy, you start to feel empowered. You start to feel confident. Your horizons start to broaden. You start to operate from a higher frequency. Higher frequency timelines come into view. And the opportunities that, that reside on those timelines start to be perceived by you because your energy is now flowing. It's no longer stuck in the lower chakras. You're operating now from your heart. You have a good sense of what feels right and what doesn't feel right. And you take steps in the direction of the things that match or resonate with you. And you start to help others. You start to walk your purpose, walk your path, and you start manifesting a life and living and creating a career, creating opportunities to help others as a light worker, as a star seed. Okay, so if you're feeling stuck in your nine to five, take the time and do what that energy, what that position, what that scenario or situation is showing you to do or allowing you to do. Bring it inside, work with your energy, energetic level, breathe, find the areas where it's stuck and feel, feel the trauma, feel the pain, Feel the density there, transmute it, and start to gain some clarity. As your chakras start to align, you're going to feel more confident. You're going to feel more empowered. You're going to have more self-esteem. You're going to feel more secure. And you're going to trust. You're going to trust that you have everything you need within. There is nothing external that can tie you to something that no longer resonates You'll have the mindset, you'll have the clarity, you'll have the alignment to make that change and start walking your path and living your purpose as a light worker, helping to heal others and helping to heal the planet. If you're interested in finding out where you're at in your journey and connecting with your guides and learning more about what is stuck within you energetically and how to move past that, I'm offering discovery calls. Reach out to me via my website, soulintegrationcoach.com. Send me an email and I will send you a link for a free discovery call. I'd love to get on the phone or Zoom and chat with you. Thank you so much.